My name is Jón Bjarnason, uh, known as CCP Atlas. I'm the technical director in the EVE Software Group. There are 25 people in the EVE Software Group. We work on the uh, application code, excluding graphics. So we make all of the game features that you see in the game. For the uh, Crucible expansion, we're doing a lot of different things. We are uh, implementing a brand new localization system, which will allow us to pursue new localization markets. Uh, we are uh, also fixing just a bunch of things that have been wrong in the game and people have been griping about for years. What's unique about this expansion is uh, that the EVE group are not the only ones that are fixing problems in the game. Uh, a lot of people in core have pitched in. The Paper Cuts team in Atlanta are World of Darkness programmers who have taken a break out of creating their favorite vampire game into actually coming to chip in to the Crucible expansion and have created a lot of cool features for us such as uh, loot all, uh, drones automatically returning to bay, automatically jumping through a gate when you, uh, when you press warp 2, and all sorts of different things that is going to make EVE so much better. For this expansion, we implemented a new font. It may not be as cool and sci-fi as the old one, but it should be more readable. Like when I'm moving around Nullsec, I had a really hard time sometimes with telling what the system names are, but it should be a lot easier to tell now when you can like, actually tell what letters there are in it. Uh, we wrote a dev blog on this and got a lot of good feedback from the players. Um, most of the feedback was that it was either too small or too big, so then we decided to implement UI scaling. Um, UI scaling is pretty nice because it like, should benefit a lot of people, um, both people that are playing on small laptops and also those playing on really big TVs. Uh, something else we've been working on is little things, which is something BFF has been doing for uh, quite a while now. Uh, I enjoy fixing little things because it's really rewarding, because you can get sometimes get a lot of them done in a short time. Um, I also wrote the dev blog on that and got feedback from players and for example I made some changes to the wallet tooltip if you have access to the corp wallet and the players were making suggestions on how it would be better to implement that and we did just exactly as they asked for so it's really valuable to get feedback from the players. For this Crucible expansion I've been working on something called corp bookmarks. For years the only way to, to share bookmarks with other players is by uh, copying them into items and, and then give, physically giving them to other players. What you can do now is to basically copy them to the corporations through the bookmark system and then they're instantly, well, almost instantly viewable by other players in your corporation. Uh, we decided on a very simple, uh, simple role restriction in this. We can, anybody in the corporation can create bookmarks and anybody can, can view them. However, only a communication officer can actually delete and modify bookmarks they themselves did not create. Uh, when we decided to create folders for corporations, they of course had to be server-side. So what we wound up doing was create a, a, a folder structure that could be stored server-side. And it really made no sense to have that purely for, for corporations, so we just decided to migrate the, the folders for, for characters, character bookmarks, to the server as well. And they are then now all stored on the server. We've been working on uh, lots of small changes, which some take long time to do and others take very short time to do. For example, the f number of fittings players can have. That's basically a change that takes minutes once it's been dec decided upon. <laughs> While, for example, uh, autopilot to stations, that takes a couple of days to, days to do. Autopilot to stations will, for example, allow you, allow you to right-click on the asset list in uh, stations in your asset list and do uh, set destination there and it will just take you to the station, dock there and, and, and that's a very nice feature that we, we've been uh, wanting to have in for a long time but never had the time to do. And these are examples of, of things that we have been working on and, and uh, hope you like, like them all. Now you know all there is to know about the people who have been busy programming Crucible, the expansion which is just around the corner. I'm very excited and I hope you are too. See you in space.